The build we're running today is a Blood CC build. It highlights Universal Donor, 20% increased blood amount uh, capabilities. Alongside with our Blood Harvesting capabilities here, you're going to gain at least 40 plus blood per bucket easily. And then having Blood Runner as well, because you're always going to be above 50% of blood vials or blood account on your character. That means you can actually use your stamina more often in the game. And then you're feeding them um, bl blood to Grandpa continuously, getting Grandpa to level 5, and then he gets excited and he does his sonar pings even quicker, giving you more information to pretty much keep going around the map. And then we have Endurance to help us out in those capabilities being fired up and also that aspect there. Bane abilities upgraded like this with poison damage and also more lingering amounts of our gas. And we have this is our skill tree. Some random rerolls here and there, but it should work out pretty darn well. So let's jump into the action and highlight this build and have some fun times with this. We're versing a four-man party. This has been quite interesting. I'm very eager for this. Very, very eager. And hopefully the audio sounds good, mates. I keep trying to fix the audio as much as possible. And hopefully there's no static or anything like that. So let's enjoy this. I'm excited. Uh, run downstairs, all three. You can do that as well. It's, it's It can be done. It's very easy. Okay. Let's get into it. So we're playing as Sissy. The blood sissy. She crazy. She freaky. And we're collecting all that blood for Grandpa, making him happy. Oh, this is going to be great. Let's go. The hype's there. Everybody be hype in chat. Let's get this. Let's get this. Let him cook. Let him bubba. <laughs> I'll see the chainsaw. Let's jump to it. Okay, first thing you want to do on this map, and especially with this spawn, turn this off. There's a secondary spawn that you can get, but this is maybe the best spawn if you're playing SCC. Because you want someone to always spawn here to turn on the battery to make sure it's safe and no one exits. And Sissy's singing. True, we'll find them. They'll be in the basement, so what we want to try to do here, there's always a blood bucket on the way. There's two, actually. There's one right over here, so click that. And look at the blood amount from 0 to 40, or actually 36. Surprisingly. So that's still pretty good. I'm still happy with that. 36. I could actually run another build that has 30 flat, but that six amount could actually help out quite drastically when they stack between multiple blood buckets. So let's go from here. And we've got another blood bucket on the left here. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, it's not spawned here this time. Unlucky. Let's go over here. Then through this. Usually I want the blood bucket spawned here because it helps with my rail, but sadly, no RNG. Close that. Make sure it's all safe. Now, blood bucket will be here. So, this is number one. Oh, no. Someone else took it. No. I need to be doing it. Unless they're running blood harvest build, too. Okay, they have taken all of them. Okay, this is one. Watch this. There's like three here. Okay, one. Two. Look at the, look at the blood points. Look at the blood points. Look at it. I'm going to be 140. And there's still another. There's still another. I'm already maxed out 140. We get we get to wake up Grandpa before they wake up Grandpa through noise. Do you, do you understand how insane that is? That is super insane. I still have another. It's somewhere around here. But it's all right. Let's go feed Grandpa. Give him that big boost that he needs. 140 in mere seconds. That is insanity. Look at that. Look at that. Grandpa's awake. We get a special animation. We're waking up Grandpa. Love to see it. And then now, demon mode is activated. So we have a couple choices. We can go downstairs and cause havoc, which would be quite fun, to be honest. Look, they're already downstairs. Actually, let's cause some, a bit of havoc here as we get Grandpa to a high level as well. Because then collect blood from the victims at the same time. Block that. Collect this blood here. Nice. Then from here, we go around this side. Is he chasing? He's chasing. Okay, perfect. Hey, Connie. How you doing? We get Connie out of the picture as soon as possible. Poison. And there we go. Oh, no. She's nearly dead. Poison again. Now she's going to stop her movement. She's dead. There we go. And we got 126 blood points already. Give me out of this. And Leatherface has got 140. Another kill. That's crazy. 
Oh my god, what carnage. That is carnage. Yeah, on the urge of level two. We get level four out of this already. If we go to Bubba, um, actual grandpa right now, we get level four. That's insane. We have potential. From waking up grandpa early with this build is insanity. So now we're going to go back upstairs, take the blood, and give grandpa. No, 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 let me go. Let me go first. Yep, I go first. Oh, max blood. So I can do another cycle. There's one right next to us. There's one right next to us. I just saw. There you go. Grab a level three. He's somewhere here. There you go. Lee lands over there. Let Johnny play that um, for a bit. I'm going to actually cut some blood here. So let's go to a blood cycle route. You go from here. That's one. 36 straight away. Easy. And then all 31. It's changed surprisingly. Then from over here. Go to this one as well. Nice. Then over here as well. Look at the blood. Just keep flowing. Grab is so happy right now. He's mad excited. Then another blood bucket here too. And the other one I was talking about earlier is actually here. You ready? The third blood bucket in this area is nuts. But sadly that is usually open. So it makes the route a little bit faster. Grab a soda ping because my perk is active. There we go. They're all here. They're going to stab Grandpa. They have to stab Grandpa. I would stab Grandpa. They're not stabbing Grandpa. I'm just going to go to Grandpa. I'm going to let them live. Watch this. Grandpa, make him happy. Feed Grandpa. Yes. Everyone feed Grandpa. Feed him. Make him level five. Make him busted. That's 140 blood as well. So that's level four and a half. Yeah, nice. Level four and a half. Nice. And now watch this. Level 5, Guarantee Wall Hacks. Guarantee Wall Hacks coming. It's coming. No doubt. I'm waiting. No, let me get it. 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 No! You dirty dog. It was mine. It was my blood I was going to give. I was supposed to feed Grandpa. He's level 5 now. He has to be. There we go. Wall Hacks. That is insane. That quickly. Now, where's... There he is. Oh, no. You dead, Julie. You dead. The whole gang's pulling up. Oh, my God. Run. 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 You dead. The blood build. The blood sissy build. You dead. You dead. You dead. <laughs> oh, my God. The carnage. I'm telling you. That build is disgusting. Already. Already. What a quick route. What a good movement and intel to use as soon as possible. I, if you use this build, the goal is to always wake up Grandpa. As soon as you wake up Grandpa, you have the capabilities to actually jump the basement. But alongside that, you still have the chance to go back upstairs and just leave them. You don't have to bother with them and get Grandpa to level 5 instantaneously. So you have wall hacks and that means no survivor, no victim will ever get out. They can never have the chance of escaping. 2000 XP. All I got was one kill. That's all I got. Was one kill. I got 2,000 XP. That's nuts. It's the same amount of points as this guy with two kills. So you got to keep that in mind that running these blood builds and actually feeding Grandpa does help out the XP, does help out the game, makes the family side even easier and even better for you to guarantee those kills against all victims. That is so much fun. Oh my God. That is a fatality and a half. GG, mates. GG.